What's going on everybody? It's Mike. Real low dad. Front yard behind me. We're back in the front yard finally with some huge announcements on this and that is the biodiversity of my front lawn has just blown through the roof since I built those cedar planters. I am now growing sorghum along with a maple tree. But what's more important is I'm wearing boots. You know what that means sponsors. Get ready. We're going to do it. I have a feeling we'll talk at GIE. In all serious, no, um, what actually I got to do is I need to get this front lawn. I've been cutting it higher with the rotary, partly due to work schedules. Then also the wife's been parking in the driveway because the garage is a dumpster fire with BMX bikes, BMX ramps, and furniture that I have to refinish over the winter. And that makes it hard for me to turn around the real mower on the driveway and not turn it around in the grass and wear it down because that does cause problems. So I'm actually getting ready to start getting this mowed back down with the real mower. I'm not using the rotary first. We're just going to go at it. Then we're going to get some seed down. And if I feel froggy, we might kill some stuff with some glyphosate. While y'all watch me mow, let's talk about things I am not doing when I put down some more KBG seed this year. And I'll let you know why when I tell you. Okay, so this mow, this little kind of mini scalp, not even really a scalp because I didn't lower the mower, is all I'm going to do when I overseed. Why is that? Well, because it's all I feel like doing, that's why. But things I'm not doing, I am not aerating my lawn. Why? Because it's predominantly Bermuda now. It's back to that. It is what it is. But I don't want to aerate in the fall. Could I probably get away with it since I'm overseeding a uh, cool season grass? Yeah, but I don't feel like doing that and I don't want to deal with picking up cores. Another thing I am not doing, I am not dethatching or running a power rake or a scarifier or any of that crap. Probably could use like a verticut, but I am not dethatching. And why? Is because I never dethatch my lawn, ever. Any thatch issues I have are taken care of in the spring when I properly scalp my Bermuda lawn. And you can watch a video on that. That will eliminate the thatch, so I save time in the fall and get to enjoy the somewhat slightly cooler weather that's only cool for a little bit before it gets really cold. Next thing I'm not doing is I'm not putting down lime. You see a bunch of people all over the place talking, oh yeah, just go ahead, get your seed down and put, put down lime. No, you don't put down freaking lime unless you have to. And I don't have to, so I'm not doing it. And the last thing I'm not doing is I'm not really gonna put down anything else product wise with the exception of MPK and I will use some wetting agents. And what wetting agent would that be? Well, and I'll give you a hint, it begins with A and ends with what seven did to nine. Yeah, I went there again. Okay, first pass is done. We're doing two passes today. Why is that? Well, you would know if you watched my Bermuda Mistakes video and dealing with height of cut resets and scalps and all that. I cover all that in a bunch of previous videos, but no, we need to go over it again, get it a little bit lower. You can do the same direction, different direction, whatever. I'm probably gonna do a different direction, but you're just gonna have to wait and see.
Okay, with the mow complete, it's looking pretty good. We got a lot more brown showing than what I thought we would have, but not not a whole lot it, it's still looking pretty good the kvg rebounded from the last time i showed you this when i was only letting water do my irrigation for me because i was out of town most of the summer now onto the seed what are we using oh the barenberg hgt why because i like it and two i have a lot of it we are actually going to be using this guy Got about three pounds of seed in this here. Gonna go over, it's roughly 1,500 square feet, maybe a little bit less. So right around that one and a half pounds of seed per thousand square feet. Now this is coated seed. You see the yellow on there. A lot of people don't like coated seed. I'm indifferent on it. I don't mind the coating. Yes, I know you're technically paying more for the seed, but there's fungicides and stuff that help prevent disease. So that's what we're going with. Why am I using this Scott? Not even the Wiz. I don't even think this has a name. I don't know. It's not the Wiz. It's not the other one. It's not battery operated. It's crank operated. I didn't want to use the drop spreader, even though that's kind of what I recommend. It's what I've recommended for overseeding ryegrass and what I used when I did the whole Blumuda in the back last year and KBG in here. But I have issues with that. And as you all remember my front lawn, I left a nice little power stripe down the middle of it where I just skipped a row. Oops. And so I don't really feel like doing that. And two, it takes forever to use a freaking drop spreader even on this small side. Only downside with this, with the crank, it only spins backwards. So I have that working against me or even working for me because it kind of makes its own little edge guard. Oh, and the setting on this is at number two. Okay, we're all done now except for water. So we're gonna use this guy right here. It's the Underhill Rainbow Nozzle. Got it on this little adapter it came with. I'm using this because I like it. And I paid for it, not sponsored yet. So I'm watering this in initially by hand just to get some water down. But this Rainbow Nozzle gives me some big, super honking fat droplets of water. And that is gonna help kind of drive the seed down just a little bit and to help get a little better contact with the soil really a pain in the butt to oversee kbg or they say it is we'll see how it goes but it's watered in now everything is looking well, about as good as it can look at this point in time i need to set up a temporarily permanent solution though to water this got to find my two zone hose timer because that's what i'll need for up front here that'll be a future video will i be bending over <laughs> i can't say i like it because that'd be bad yes I will. But yeah, we're going to get a little temporary above ground setup put in here and, you know, do that magic. So until then, it's Mike. Real old dad. I just spread my seed all over the lawn. We'll see you. <laughs>